Hello everyone, I am Jitendra Kumar. My channel name is Jigno Jitendra Kumar Economics. Basically, in this video, we will learn how to derive consumer surplus with the given demand and supply function. I have a written a question. Given the demand and supply law, TD that means demand function equal to 16 minus x square and TS that means supply function equal to 4 plus x determinant of consumer surplus under perfect competition. Okay, as we know under the perfect uh, competitions demand function demand function is equal to supply function. This is the condition of and this is the condition under the perfect competition. Now demand function is a given TD equal to PS. Okay, we are equating PD equal to PS that means demand function equal to supply function in order to derive the value of X that means quantity. Okay, so substituting the value of PD is the given in questions. 16 minus x square and T s equal to 4 plus x shifting 4 plus x in LHS side 16 minus x square minus 4 minus x equal to 0. All the term 4 plus x in RHS side if it is a shifted in LHS side its sign uh, will change. Here is a positive. If the if they move into our LHS side, it become minus. That's the why I have a put minus sign before of for an x. Now solve it. <coughs> Arranging minus x square minus x and uh, 16. The sign of 16 is a plus, but minus 4 is a subtracted. We get finally plus 12 equal to 0. If we take minus 1 common, we are left with inside the bracket x square plus x. Okay, minus 12 equal to 0. Okay, if minus 1 is a divided uh, <coughs> by 0, we get 0. Here finally we are, we have x square plus x minus 12, we got a quadratic equation, you have, you must have a study it uh, in class 10, standard 10, x square, the first uh, c is a 12, here multiply by 1, so 1 into 12 equal to 12, and 4 if we factorize 12, 4 into 3, 12, and 4 minus either plus or minus adding the uh, value of middle term. Okay, 4 minus 3 equal to 1. So we have got the factorization x square plus 4x minus 3x minus 12 equal to 0. Taking the common here, x in this two term, x plus 4. Now, here we need to take a common minus 3. So then, we can finally, we are left with inside the bracket, x plus 4. <coughs> x minus 3, x plus 4, equal to 0. We have got the value of and uh, we have got two value of x. First, uh, x uh, equal to 3 or x equal to minus 4. Okay, here plus x plus 4 equal to 0. So therefore, x equal to minus 4. So when we get minus 4, quantity cannot be never be negative. That's the why we need to ignore the value. Uh, <coughs> uh, minus 4. Okay. This value x equal to minus 4 is ignored. We need to uh, take the value x equal to 3. Okay. 
Now it is a time to get price. So T equal to demand function. T equal to 16 minus x square. And we have already got the value of x equal to 3. So 16 minus 3 of all x square. So 16 minus 9 finally get 7. So we have got the value of t x. Now we need to substitute in this term into consumer circular. Uh, <coughs> Demand function equal to will be equal to 16 minus x square of x equal to 3 and we have got the value of t equal to 7. We know that consumer surplus equal to integration. Okay. 0 minus 3 because we have got the value of x3, upper limit 3 and lower limit 0. Demand function t t t is the function of x steps the y dx minus t x substituting the value of 0 minus 3 t x that means demand function 60 minus x square dx minus t equal to 7 x equal to 3 ok we have already derived the value of x and t now solve it it is a definite integration 16 x minus x to the power 3 by 3 3 minus equal to 21 16 into 3 we are putting the value of upper limit the one step we can extend it 16 x minus x cube by 3 ok <coughs> 3 and x uh, 16 x minus x cube by 3 to the power 0 minus 20. Okay. So finally, 16. Okay. Substituting the value of 3. Okay. X equal to 3. 16 into 3 minus 3 to the power 3 by 3 minus 16 into 0 here yeah. ok it is a definite integration we know that and f is 0 to the power 3 by 3 minus 20 over Six three, uh, 16 3 is a 40 <coughs> 3 3 is a 9 and 3 is a 27 by 3 this whole term becomes 0 minus 20. 93 is a 27. 48 minus 9 minus 21. Okay, the 48 minus 9 plus 9 to 30. 9, 1, 10, 0, 30. Finally, we get 80. CS, that means consumer surplus equal to 80 under the perfect competition given the demand and supply function. I hope everybody get understand the things I have discussed in this video. And if you come first time in my channel, please subscribe my channel immediately. 
in order to get better understanding of your course material and you can also send your comment and send any type of question you are not able to solve okay i will be delighted uh, solving your problem okay thanks for watching my video till end jai hind